Lesson 7.6, Problem Solving, Use Numbers to 15. In this lesson, we solve problems using the strategy, draw a quick picture. This is Ben. Ben has 14 hats in his closet, and he's wearing one hat. How many hats does Ben have? We ask ourselves, what do we need to find out? We need to find how many hats Ben has in all. And what information will help us? That he has 14 in his closet and is wearing one. We can draw a quick picture to help us. A quick drawing uses a dot, circle, square, or a line to represent each object, each hat. We can draw 14 dots for the 14 hats in his closet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We have 14 dots for the 14 hats that are in his closet. Then we draw one more for the hat he's wearing because we need to know how many hats he has in all. We need to count the one he's wearing. 14 and one more is 15. We can count all of our dots to check our answer to see if it makes sense. We have 10, like in a 10 frame, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We can write the 15. We write a one with a five next to it. 15. Now what if Ben wasn't wearing a hat? What if all of his hats were in the closet? Would he still have 15 hats? Do you think if the hat he was wearing was in the closet with the other ones, would he still have 15 hats? If you said yes, you're correct. He still has 15 hats in all. Now listen very carefully to this problem. There are 15 children. 10 children each have one ball. How many more balls are needed so each child has a ball? We ask ourselves, what do we need to find? We need to find how many more balls are needed so each child has one. And what information do we have? That there are 15 children and 10 of the children have a ball. We can draw a quick picture to help us find the answer. We need 15 children. We can draw 15 lines to represent 15 children. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That can be the 15 children. Then we can draw a circle by 10 of the lines to be a ball next to 10 of the children. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then we can count how many more balls are needed. These children don't have a ball. How many more do we need so that they will each have one? There are one, two, three, four, five lines for five children that would be without a ball. We need to draw five more circles so each child would have a ball. We draw one, two, three, four, Five. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen children with fifteen balls. We needed to draw five of them right here so that they would all have a ball. We needed five more balls. We needed to draw five more. Ten and five more would be 15 in all. We needed five. 
So we don't need to draw a pretty picture that takes a long time. We need to draw a quick picture. That means we need to make a fast picture. So we drew a line for children and a circle for the ball. Here's Mr. Kim. He's a gardener. And there are 15 flowers in Mr. Kim's garden. There are five flowers in each row. So we know he has 15 flowers and there are five in each row. We can draw 15 circles to be 15 flowers and we can put five in each row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's five in that row, five in that row, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that would be our 15 flowers with five in each row. Now listen carefully. There are three red and two purple flowers in each row. So how many purple flowers are in his garden? Well, we know there's five in each row. We can draw an R for red and a P for purple. There are three red and two purple in each row. So we make three R's for three red. R, R, R for r red, red, red. Then this one has got to have three red, three R's. And this one's got to have three R's for three red. And then it says that there's three red, but there's two purple. So we know this must be P for purple. This must be P for purple. And this must be P for purple. P purple. We need to find how many purple flowers there are in his garden. Now we can count how many letter P's we wrote for purple. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six purple in his garden. We can write the number six. There are six purple flowers. So remember, we don't need to draw 15 flowers with leaves and color them. We just need to draw a quick picture. That means a fast picture that will help us solve the problem. By using the letter R for red and P for purple, we didn't have to waste time coloring them with different colors. So the most important thing I want you to remember from this lesson is that we can draw a quick picture to help us solve a problem. And the other important thing is that it's a quick picture. It's a fast picture. Okay? Our next lesson, 7.7, .7, we're going to model and count 16 and 17. Have a wonderful day, and I hope you'll join me. Bye.